All right, so this lead code question is called rotate array. It says given an array, rotate the array to the right by k steps where k is non-negative. So the first example they give us, we have an array that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and k equals three. Remember, k is just the number of times it has to be rotated. So basically seven would go in the front of this array, six would go in the front of that, and five would go in the front of that. So the output would be five, six, seven, one, two, three, four. And the second example is an array negative one, negative 100, three, and 99, and it needs to be rotated twice. So 99 would go in the front and three would go in the front of that, giving us three, 99, negative one, and negative 100. Then the note says, try to come up with as many solutions as you can. There are at least three different ways to solve this problem. So the way I'll show you now is just one of the ways and it's not the most efficient. I will link to another way down below. All right, one of the ways to solve this problem is just by popping the last element off of the array and then unshifting it to the front of the array. And we would just do that K number of times. So right now we just did it once and we need to do it two times because K equals two. So we would just do it again. You would pop the last element off of the array and you would move it to the front. And that would give you your answer. But now let's think about when K is larger than the number of elements in the array. So let's say that k equals six. And let's start with the same array that we just had. So one, two, three, four. So let's rotate that six times. So this will be one. This will be two. This will be three. Let me move this over. This will be four. This will be five. And this will be six. But notice that these two arrays have come out to be the same, even though this was originally k equals two and this is k equals six. So a good thing to do is you would actually take k, which is let's say six, and you would do the modulus of k and the length of the array. And that would give you the number of times you actually need to rotate it. Because like we said, rotating it six times comes out to be the same as rotating it two times. Even so, keep in mind that this is not the most efficient way to rotate an array, and I'll show you why. Let's say we have the same array, one, two, three, four. K equals anything, let's say K equals two. When you pop it off the end, that's done in constant time. But when you add it to the front of the array, what happens behind the scenes is that each element has to now get shifted one spot to make room for the new element in the front. So with that, we just rotated it once. Remember, we have to do this twice, so let's do it again. Two now goes over here, one now goes here, and four now goes here. Now we have our three, four, one, two. So yeah, this is not the most efficient algorithm, but if you're in a bind and you forget any other ways, this might be the easiest way to remember. All right, so let's get to the code. Lead code has given us a function called rotate, which accepts 
an array called nums and k, which is the number of times we need to rotate that array. So remember the first thing we have to do is whatever k we have, we have to do the modulus on it of the length of the array. So in this case, k equals two, so you'd rotate it two times, but that's the same thing as k equals six, k equals 10, k equals 14. So that's why you just need to know what the remainder is when you divide k by the length of the array. All right, so now we just need a while loop. So while k is greater than zero, what do we need to do? We need to pop the last element off of the array. So nums.pop. And what do we need to do? We need to add that same element to the front of the array. So since pop returns the element that was removed, we can just wrap that in nums.unshift. Unshift in JavaScript just adds the element to the front of the array. So you pop the element and you immediately move it to the front of the array. That would look like this. All right, what do we need to do? We need to decrement k by one. So we just need to do that one more time. Let me just get rid of these brackets to make it easier. So it would pop k off and immediately add it to the front of the array. And then that should be it. Let's run the code. Looks good and let's submit it. All right, so our solution was better than about 52% of other JavaScript submissions. Like I said, this is not the most efficient array. I will create another video for that. So as usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you liked the video, like it and subscribe. See you next time.